Okay, for our more traditional two fingers and a thumb bowlers tonight, we have a layout of four and a quarter by three and a half by two on an asymmetrical solid reactive gem. And we have the same layout, four and a quarter by three and a half by two on a symmetrical Wolverine. Definitely think that layouts are important on bowling balls. We want to use layouts as fine tuning tools to help the bowling ball and the bowler match up to the conditions they're bowling on, as opposed to using them as the most important factor in ball reaction. So in this case, we've chosen two bowling balls, the gem and the Wolverine, and we've put the bowler's favorite four and a quarter by three and a half by two layout on these two bowling balls with the hope that out of the box, on the fresh, they can use the gem. When the lanes transition, they get a little drier in the front, they can't get the ball to the heads anymore, that ball can switch over to the less aggressive, weaker cover stock, weaker core of the Wolverine and still get the ball through the lane and play his favorite area of the lane using his favorite layout that we know already works for him or her.